things to come. Practicing on a large scale, grim, determined American troops rehearse for the invasion of the European continent. Invasion barges towing low-flying barrage balloons moving to secure a beachhead beneath the whine of live ammunition. equipment rolling ashore in the wake of the infantry. Everything timed and planned to the minute as they prepare for the actual test. At the amphibious training center, an actual village is used to train men in the art of fighting from street to street. Nothing is being overlooked. When the Americans move in, they're going to be ready for anything. Washington, Lord Halifax and Britain's Foreign Secretary Anthony Eden call on United States Secretary of State Cordell Hull. Post-war problems of the United Nations and closer collaboration with Russia are topics of discussion. Mr. Eden's long friendship with the Soviets strongly qualifies him for this important mission. in life-saving equipment, a 3,000-pound steel raft that floats on either side. Enough concentrated rations are carried to sustain 22 men for 21 days. A mirror with which to signal for help is part of its equipment. Kept afloat by air-filled bulkhead, the raft is dropped for a test. It's unsinkable and can't be swamped. Merchant seamen in exposure suits abandon ship and prepare to man their life raft. Quickly they hoist sail, rig a shelter, and toss out a smoke signal that goes off when it hits the water. A real lifesaver for victims of shipwreck. Canada's largest cities shiver in the grip of a howling blizzard, but war workers plow through snowdrifts and even help shovel the roads to get to their jobs. Train crews delayed as much as 24 hours cleared the tracks until service was resumed. Giant plows sweeping away the heaviest snow Canada has seen in 40 years. Workers stream back to their jobs as conditions return to normal. shipment of those famous Missouri mules arrives at an army remount station in the American far west. And troopers have quite a time coaxing them into service. <coughs> a 1,300-pound mule, fresh from the farm, has a mind of its own, as the soldiers soon find out. Difficult to imagine this fellow under army discipline. But give him time. He'll learn. Every day, American shipyards are answering the challenge of war, filling the Navy's orders for ships and more ships. Yes, and shattering all records in doing the job. Here, workmen rush to completion new destroyer escort craft. Fast, trim, 300-foot warships of prefabricated steel. Four months in building from keel to launching. First ready is the hopping, and the widow of her namesake swings the champagne. A 
new type sea fighter in the United Nations war against the submarine. At another yard, they're launching the latest tanker of America's great merchant fleet. All welded, she's one of the biggest oil carriers for Allied armies fighting overseas. United States Coast Guardsmen on horseback patrolling the wide and sparsely settled beaches of America's vast shoreline. On guard against spies and saboteurs seeking to land from enemy submarines. With the help of trained dogs and portable radio, the mounted patrol covers the coastline from Maine to Florida, from Mexico to Canada. Always on guard. Regiment of American Lend-Lease Tanks in Australia, part of a full armored division, takes the field. An impressive answer to any threat of Japanese invasion. Ordered to take up positions at strategic points along the Australian mainland, the division is prepared constantly for any attack. Australian dive bombers sweep in amid exploding shells as General MacArthur puts his command through a real battle test. And the heavy American land battleships prove they're as tough as they come. Western Mexico, a new volcano comes to life. Huge columns of smoke billow skyward as ripping explosions within the fiery crater are heard for more than 100 miles. Molten lava pouring from the subterranean inferno buried a village of 600 people. The cone, after three days of activity, is 1,200 feet high. Lava presents an awe-inspiring spectacle. Explosion 30 times a minute. Amazing scenes of a phenomenon of nature. <laughs> 